Hi guys, I'm Liz. Hey, and I'm Pierre. And we are Tarantulas and Recoveries. Here we are once again, guys. And wait, let me just show you this real quick. So we have the spider keep. It's a live spider habitat. Yes. So this is made by Cobweb Castle. Look at this, guys. We're going to show you the whole breakdown. So let's give you a quick rundown on what this is. We met this wonderful gentleman. Yes. Elliot Stanton. Stanton. He's an inventor, founder, CEO of Cobweb Castle. And he's from Bullfort, South Carolina. So we had a wonderful chance of meeting him and his family yes. at the Fear Not Tarantula um, Grand Open and Celebration. Shout out to shout out to Fair Not for throwing that. Yay. You know, it was a great networking opportunity. And we got to meet some really cool people and people that we talk to all the time in the hobby. Yes. So, real quick. So now this is a spider habitat. This is made for true spiders. Specifically made for the cool kink. Kukulkanya hibernalis. Hibernalis. Right? I'm sure yeah. you can use other spiders that are similar in nature to the way they're being kept. Yes. Now, we're going to go through some of the pros, cons, and some of the misconceptions and questions that may come arise um, with this new item. Now, we got the deluxe pack. Now, I know some of you have seen it popping up a little bit around the place, but we're the first ones here with yes. the deluxe pack. This is the package premium, and it comes with a wooden habitat, rubbish tray, instruction guide, Climbing sticks, tweezers, magnifying glass, and two ink pens. You see the stuff right here. And we're, wow. You know, it went from a prototype to this in a short period of time. We were in contact with Elliot. And we are so blessed to have this right here. And we can't wait to review this for you guys. So now, what the, what the spider keep is right here is that you see it's a wooden, um, it's a wooden project. And some of you may say, wait a minute, spider, tarantula, you guys are tarantulas, no moisture. Well, this is not a moisture dependent species. So the chances of wood warping and other types of uh, mold areas, you're gonna see, you wanna show them real quick, Liz? The back of it? Sure. So as you see, this right here, here opens up. This yep. opens up. And this, this is, is the main our, area. Our spider is gonna go, and she's right over here. Oh. That's our Kukukanya hibernalis. Look at her, she's a true spider. And as you notice about the legs, right? What's yeah. the first thing you guys notice? Similar in legs, I don't know if many of you are familiar with two spiders, but I know a lot of you are familiar with trapdoors and other species that have similar type footing. So if you look at the top, tip of the legs, okay. it's very pointy. They're not climbers, right? No, they can't but climb. they're very, they're heavy webbers and they will definitely latch on to hanging base material. So that's why these pieces of wood are positioned there for her to build her webbing of her home. Twigs. So yeah. this is the main part of the home. This okay. right here is the trash trap. So when she throws her trash from that hole out, you know, it catches right here. And you we'll can be just, able to just dispose of it. Exactly. Easy that clean up. Nice and neat. All right, Liz, you want to turn it around and show them real sure. quick? Sure. Let's show them the dome. Here we go. So this is really strongly made. Yep. So check this out. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> so in yes. here, we have a little cricket in there. Cricket too, ready yep. to go. So we did set it up ahead of time and we want to take a real good look at it before we just open it up and sort of messing with it. Mm -hmm. So this thing comes pre-made. Um, we did glue our own sticks in there. Yes. All right. But that's the only thing we had to do. You know, it was a simple screw off of this. And this right here, we wet the moss a little bit. It's not a moisture dependent species. We just dampened the moss and that's it. It's ready to go. Now this is easily removable for cleaning and activity. And usually the spider will web towards the back of this and have this whole uh -huh. area webbed up. So when you pull it off, there should be a strong chance that it will stay right here in the dome. Yes. Right? So let me show you some of the cool stuff that comes with this now. Yeah, look at right here. All right, so, so we got some stickers. We, we got, got some real cool stickers. And you stickers. probably see the foil paper and you're wondering what's going on. We're Which you. are also on the box. They come in the box, the stickers. Cobweb. And we got a couple of Codweb Castle. Now, this is an educational-based um um, apparatus. Yes. This is made for education within the school systems and within people to learn about keeping these spiders and be able to view, record, document, and properly learn how a spider lives and mm -hmm. watch it fully. Yeah. Now, these will be in schools and there will be in educational different varieties from zoos to, to different programs. Yes, absolutely. And we're really blessed to have this because education is one of the biggest things in the hobby, which is like a lot of people get in and they learn a scientific name, but that's not education. Education is learning the spider's behaviors, watching how it in, how it reacts to its environment and what. And you send us a notebook so that we can document everything from our spider. Okay. So, awesome. Over here we have tweezers. And we have 
our magnetic glass. Yes, he said it's a magnifying glass with it. All right. Glass. So what we're going to do two is pens. and two pens. <laughs> so we're going to show you this. So now one of the biggest things is wood. This is very sturdy wood. It's not treated. Right? And that was my biggest concern when I first met him and talked to him about this. Because I was wondering for it about other types of spiders, including mm -hmm. huntsmen. And I'm sure there's going to be new styles that are going to come out. Because we were discussing about having a full plate back here versus the dome. And that's something he's going to be working on on different prototypes in the future. So keep a lookout. This is friggin' awesome. Yes. And I'm sure a lot of you true spider enthusiasts can already probably think of one or two to go in there. <laughs> you know, that, that are similar yeah. in nature to the Kukukanya hibernalis. Yes, and it has a nice handle that you can uh -huh. carry yeah. your box anywhere you go. Oh yeah, this you is a travel pack. in your office, in school, um, for educational purposes, and also at home, you know, in your castle. Awesome. Yeah. So, Liz, we're going to turn it around. So, the, um, yep, so we're going to turn it around. Right, so let's do it. We're going to house it up. There we go. All right. Right, right here. So, so Liz is going to do the housing of the Kukukanya. And we're going to show you what that foil paper is for in a few seconds once we get them in there. All right, so let's see. Okay, let me just get an angle here. All right, little buddy. Um, I'm going to help you climb up. Oh, okay. Um, How about you pick him up and put him in there, Liz? Oh, boy. <laughs> Let's put him in there and walk him in there. I, I, I don't know. I can, I, I, I'm not sure if I can do that. Okay. There he goes. Okay, come on, buddy. Trying to get a little... Oh, boy. Okay. He wants to go elsewhere, so okay. let's try it again. All right, we want to get him in his hole. Okay, hold on. You just get him down. Beautiful on, spider. Come on. And this is a native species to the U.S. You'll usually find them in um, rural areas, at barns, um, just building webs. Just building webs. They're very... And sometimes people overlook the domestic species... For more to foreign and we have some wonderful species here in the u.s especially there he spiders. goes come on all right all right <laughs> yeah. uh -uh. Nope. okay so here what i'm gonna do i'm gonna help you liz thank you all right so we're gonna walk little cuckoo kanya all right so now liz oh, yes. what is next step next step is the foil the paper foil. now you're probably wondering what's the foil paper for that's to give him some time to stay and to get acclimated into the hole and that's his real home in there is there. Now this will be here like where we drop the feet in and yeah, he's you know build he's gonna web. build he's gonna build a little web up yeah. in here and throw his garbage out through there. Yeah. So this will kind of force him into the home to to, to get a little acclimated. To stay to there. Yes. Right? This is just temporary. And then from there once he starts building his web. There we go. Don't, don't push it all the way in. We'll all be right. able to pull it out. Okay. Cool. And so there we go. This is the oh, spider let's go keep. Turn it around. Turn it around let's and see what see. it looks like. And his new Oh, that's beautiful. This is cool. That is so nice. That's awesome. Look at him. So this little foil is going to be replaced by his own web. And we are assuming that the idea is for him to take some of that moss. That moss is finally torn up. And he's going to pack some of that moss into there. And maybe build like a little, little hatch of okay. sorts. Where he's going to get through either a heavy webbing or a little bit of that to help, you know, stabilize the webbing and make it a little more discreet. Yes. You know? So now, as you look right here, we are going to show you how it closes up. So, okay. this area, the spider likes to be solitary, right? Yep. So, what you do is, That's you give him his privacy. Hatch. There. And he has his privacy. Now. That cool, huh? Now, you make sure you put the clear. This is the clear for the main part. Yep. And it goes right up here. Yeah. It's locked in. There we there go. There we go. All, All right. right. Let's, let's show this guy one more time, Liz. <laughs> One more time. This is pretty cool. And I'm going to keep you guys updated. So now, quick little thing. Here we are. This is there awesome. Is. I All did... you have to do is lift the latch and you can check on him. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Cool, huh? So these are glued in with a hot glue gun, little sticks. You can probably find other little things that you want to do to make it a little cooler looking. I mean, we want it au naturel. And um, I see if we can get the cricket on camera. He's probably a little nervous, so he's not going to touch it yet. But... So, wonderful thing is that this item is going to be given away to our members of Tarantulas and Recoveries. Yes. Because we love it. We think it's great. We're going to keep it for a bit and definitely do a follow-up review on how it lasted in a few months and how it held up. And then after that, it's going to be going to a winner. We're going to figure something out to, yeah. to pick somebody to get this. Some kind of contest. Something, right? Like a yeah. photo contest or... Yes. Maybe 
maybe even a poetry cover. Let's keep it different, right? Hmm. Everybody does a photo contest. How about your reason for being in the hobby type contest? Mm -hmm. I guess we got a few ideas to shoot around, right? Yes, I like it. Listen, like this it is there. a wonderful idea. <laughs> Thank you so much, Elliot. Yes. And guys, remember, if you want to get in touch, he's on Instagram at Cobweb Castle. You can contact him there. Here's the contact information at cobwebcastle.com. And there's also a Kickstarter. Now, Kickstarter is awesome because you can also make your suggestions towards different variations you want to see of this. And Elliot can definitely be taking those into consideration. So, yeah. guys, so far so good. Awesome guy, awesome family. Low moisture dependent species where I feel that the wood will be sufficient. It is not little plank boards. This is heavy yes. pieces of wood that oh, will yeah. not warp. Yes. There's no, there's not heavy moisture involved with the Kukulkanya hibernalis. And I love the little pants over you can take. So would you take this like, like you do like your little pocketbook, like a, instead of having a purse dog, you have your little purse spider? Yes. <laughs> I love it. Thank you, Elliot, so much. Thank you, thank you. All right, guys. Thank you right. so much. This is the Kukul Kanya Spider Thanks for Key. joining us, everyone. Spidercastle.cobwebcastle.com. Look up the spider keep, guys. Listen, tarantulas in recovery. Here we go. Thank you. Bye. Bye.